from one former premier to another former premier, Naftali Bennett, uh, detonating a political bombshell, not too surprising for many, saying he's uh, not going to run in the next elections. Jeremy Sultan, uh, out for good or just, uh, you know, setting this one out? I think we will see uh, the outgoing Prime Minister Naftali Bennett return to the political arena. I definitely see this as a break or a recess, if you will. And I think that's also understandable after really what was perhaps the most uh, intensive, at least, year that I've seen. I've, I've been working here within the corridors of the Knesset for about 15 years now. I do not recall any year being anywhere close to what it is that we dealt with over this past year. But I do think he will come back. And uh, speaking of uh, Naftali Bennett and uh, somewhat of the torchland uh, that he's leaving behind him when we're talking about the Amina party, the biggest losers, perhaps, and I will say it carefully, uh, from this uh, uh, round is Ayala Chaked, his longtime running mate, now taking over the non-existent party, question mark, the no constituency, uh, question mark, uh, the uh, no ideology, question mark, uh, Dr. Schwartz? Let me first uh, offer some words of praise for Prime Minister Bennett, outgoing Prime Minister Bennett. Uh, former uh, American President Harry Truman once said, it's amazing what you, what you can accomplish if you don't care who gets the credit. Hmm. And I think this very much embodied the, uh, the work of this past government, particularly Bennett. And so I, for one, am sorry to see him go. And I, I, I tend to agree with Jeremy that I think uh, it would be a bit too premature to uh, eulogize him politically. Um, you mentioned Ayala Chiquette is perhaps one of the losers. As much as Bennett, I believe, was an effective prime minister in the one year of his term, he was a fairly ineffective party leader. And the mm. fact that uh, the, the main defectors from this government, which which caused us to be in the situation we are in today, were from his own party, is certainly a shortcoming of his. I think it also points to him having chosen people who, to borrow an American uh, baseball metaphor, people who were born on third base and think they hit a triple.